Some years ago, a feasibility study looked into the biocontrol possibilities for a highly invasive weed known as field horsetail. In 2013, a group of farmers from the Rangatike district approached scientists at Landcare Research to take their work to the next stage and develop a biocontrol program. A grant from the Sustainable Farming Fund was accessed, enabling those working on the project to examine alternatives for controlling the spread of field horsetail. A weevil was eventually considered to be the best option. Horsetail was probably first recognised here in New Zealand in the early 1920s. I'm not quite sure how it actually first arrived, but it certainly followed on that it became relatively widespread. And certainly today it is now found quite extensively through the North Island and the South Island in the wetter areas. It has been found uh, predominantly in, in streams and, and river edges, on river edges, in the riparian areas. But certainly more recently it's moved out of those damper environments and into paddocks, into the pastures. Certainly now it has become quite extensive in some areas, uh, certainly around the Manawatu, Rangatiki area. Having moved into the pastures it has now become a significant problem for those farmers mainly because it's not only physically occupying space, uh, reducing pasture, but because it can be quite toxic to stock, uh, certainly quite damaging to the likes of horses, but also to cattle and sheep. Horsetail is a member of the fern group of plants, and so as such it produces spores to reproduce, along with reproducing from the rhizomes, from the root segments. And so early in the season, it produces these sexual forms of, of the plant. It produces uh, many, many, many spores from these, uh, which you can see uh, can be quite prolific. And so it's only later in the season that it actually puts up the green stems, which actually ends up looking like this later in the season. Uh, and these are the parts uh, of the plant that the, the weevils, the biocontrol agents, will, will attack. Horsetail in its native range is a whole arctic species. It occurs right through Europe, into Eurasia, round through North America. But we targeted the area in the UK to actually look for our biocontrol agents. From the feasibility study, we found that there were actually a number of potential biocontrol agents. We looked at not only the two sawflies and the flea beetle, but also the weevil that we've now got. The two sawflies species and the flea beetle attacked the aerial parts of the plant. All three species doing good damage to horsetail, but the weevil not only attacked the aerial parts of the plant, but the larvae actually burrow into the roots, uh, the rhizomes of horsetail. And so we thought if we can actually get some damage in the roots, we stand a far better chance of getting control of horsetail. The weevils were field collected in the UK they were imported into our containment facility here at Lincoln. We undertook a whole range of host testing to ensure that they were host specific to horsetail before we actually then went to the Environmental Protection Authority to seek permission to release them. That is the stage we're at now. We're actually bringing the emerging adult weevils out of containment into the rearing facility here to rear up to release in spring. In this cage here, we've had some adult weevils that we've brought out of containment. We put the weevils onto these horsetail plants some months ago. The adult weevils have laid eggs into the stems of the horsetail. The larvae have emerged and they've burrowed down the stems into the soil. And we now end up with horsetail looking rather sad. If we could get this in the field, uh, I'd be very pleased. The adults will probably now be dead. Like all good uh, insects, they, they mate, uh, they lay eggs uh, and then die. Their, their, their survival is maybe two or three months. But the next generation is now hopefully feeding voraciously on the roots of horsetail. When we make releases, they're generally quite small populations that we are putting out. So it generally takes some, some years before we are able to actually see uh, significant damage in the field. Uh, but, but I would like to think that we can actually hopefully see some, some kind of damage in those really heavily uh, horsetail infested areas. Within maybe five years we, sh we should be able to see some, some reduction. There are certainly sprays that you can try and control horsetail with. 
but like all sprays you need to continually be putting them out there. It is a difficult plant to try and control because of the deep roots and the rhizome system. It is very difficult to actually translocate the spray down to actually kill all of the plant. Biocontrol is never a quick fix solution. We operate on a very long time scale. It can often take many, many years to actually get some level of control of the weeds that we're working on. Uh, but when you look at the likes of gorses and brooms that have been here for 150 years, they've, they've got uh, a fairly significant head start on us. Uh, so we're actually just trying to bring back into balance uh, the, the, the natural system that exists in the native range of the, those plants. Uh, and it often does take many, many years. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.